Here's a marketing tip. Did you know that as a real estate agent, your commission actually affects your brand and how people perceive you? If you're new to this channel, I'm Sebastian Malinowski. I help real estate agents grow their business through marketing so they never have to resort to old school prospecting again. If you're interested in these types of videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. When it comes to real estate marketing, it's way easier to attract a client that already believes the same things you do. Let me set the stage here. I promise it will all make sense at the end of this video. Just bear with me for one moment. As you know, there are different types of people in this world. For example, one certain type of person will only drink water. They believe that's the best thing for them. And then there is the second type of individual who will never drink water. They hate it and they only drink soda. So now you have two people both with two opposing belief systems. Here's a question. If you were the Coca-Cola company, would you try to create marketing that would convince those who only drink water to start drinking soda? Would that make sense to you? Here's a hint. Uh, no. Why? Why wouldn't you? Well, Coca-Cola is not in the business of changing people's mind. They just simply started selling water to those who only drank water. If my memory serves me right, I do believe that Coca-Cola actually makes a heck of a lot more money selling water to those who only drink water than they do selling fizzy water to those that only drink Coke. I know, I know, we're talking about fizzy water, whatever happened to the whole commission talk, we're getting there, I promise. Here's another question for you. Next time you go out to buy a car, are you going to be looking for a Tesla or a Toyota? Or what about your next suit? Will it be tailor-made, very expensive, or off the rack? What about your next cell phone? Will you run out for the latest expensive iPhone? Or will you go for the free one that's already included in your next contract? Okay, now let's get to the good stuff. Let's talk about commission and how that actually affects your brand and how people perceive you. But let me set the stage first. What happens when a new broker owner comes to town and they start advertising, we have the lowest commissions? What usually happens amongst agents in the community? They start freaking out. They think that's it, business is done. We can never charge the commissions we want to. These guys are gonna take all our business and we might as well just quit now. Panic, just panic, right? Then what typically happens with many agents, they start advertising lower commissions as well. They figure, well, I can't keep up with these guys. They're gonna get all the business because they advertise the cheapest commissions. How can I compete with that? All right, I'll follow suit. I have to, what other choice do I have? But what these agents are doing is actually rebranding themselves without even realizing or knowing that's what they're doing. By lowering their commissions, what they're actually doing is now speaking to a different group of people with different belief systems. Some people will only buy cheap clothes and some people will only buy expensive clothes. Some people will only buy cheap cars and some people will only buy expensive cars. Some people will only buy cheap suits and some will only buy the most expensive tailor-made suits. Just like some people will only drink water and some only soda. Are you catching my drift here? Is it starting to sink in? Unfortunately, what many agents assume is the public, they all want the same thing and that's the lowest commissions. But do they? Do they really? Obviously not because there is a market for everyone. There are different brands for different types of people with different belief systems. There are people out there who will seek out the cheapest, just like there are people out there who will always seek out the most expensive. It's nothing more than a belief system. And that's why your commission, depending on what it is, will attract that type of person, the type of person who aligns themselves with what you're charging. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comment section below. So now you have to ask yourself, what type of client do I want to attract? The deal seeker 
you can see that's already a race to the bottom. Or someone who believes in the full service experience. Well, I can't answer that for you. I don't know who you are. Are you a deal seeker? Are you someone who always looks for the most expensive? You have to choose and create the best business model that aligns and works best for you. Here's a question for you. What do you think of the whole commission thing and how that makes you look as an agent? I would love to hear your feedback. Please put your answer in the comments section below. Just remember that your commissions speaks volumes about you and what kind of business you run. If you found this video valuable, click like and don't forget to share. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.